Hey guys, welcome back to Jason, Journey Builds. We are back in the shop today working on our 66 Bronco. We're installing our Tom's Bronco two and a half inch lift front suspension today. So uh, just trying to get everything ready. Um, kind of had the, the front end kind of pushed under the frame. Um, been sitting here uh, anesthesizing some the front end bolts that go to the radius arms. So I just kind of like an ounce of prevention, you know, not everybody does this, but it's something I want to do just in, in the event it has to come apart, it'll make it a little easier. Uh, today we're going to be putting in our new front, our bushings and our radius arms, the springs, and uh, seeing how quick we can do this. Okay guys, so what we're going to do to start with is um, our front radius arms. The bushings, they're really tight when they go together and, and the best way to do this is, I've read different people use different things, but uh, Dawn dishwashing detergent or great value. And I'm just, I've got a little bit of water in here. I'm just going to make a really, really heavy on the detergent just to kind of help this stuff slide together. Sorry about the low light guys. So we've got an arm here and the bushings for this kit, they have uh, top and bottom. So they'll, they'll show you here, it says rear bottom. But if you, wrote, if you flip it over, it says front bottom. So depending on where you're using it, so since this is on the back side, it's gonna be rear bottom. This will get pushed in here. But before I, before I do, I just want to make sure it's got that soap on it. So good. Pull that in. Got the front half here. Everything slick. It's all wet, I can't see it. Front bottom. So just like that. I'm gonna run out of hands here. See, can you put those bolts in? There? I'm just going to pull it in. Guys, there's no doubt. That is slick. <laughs> So guys, what I'm going to do is just kind of keep bringing this in slowly, just going back and forth with the bolts, because this has got to bottom out. So it, it, it takes a lot. So just work it a little bit and keep going. Get this thing knocked out. All right, guys. So you can see this is all pulled up and you should get that on both sides. You won't think it's going to go, but if you just keep alternating it and keep tightening, you'll get those bushings to pull in and, and that thing is good and tight now. All right, we're going to get our other rod put on, but I failed to mention, make sure you have your, this bolt hole turned up on each one because when these two go together, because your spring perch bolts here, 
So if you, you can have these things upside down when you install it, then you're just going to have to take it all back apart. So I failed to mention that, I apologize. So we're going to just do the same thing again. Rear, bottom. All right, guys. So for the the rear support, the rear bushing, just got to make sure we have our washer on, our new bushings. I'm gonna put some lube on it. It comes with some of the same kind of bushing lube that we had that we use on the shocks and everything else. And I'm just gonna put it sort of on the face where these bushings will ride, and then I'll go ahead and. Put some on this one. I can't put it in until we get the other side ready. Guys, I'm lucky to have Joni out here a minute ago. Gosh, I, I don't think I could have put those, just got those bolts started in the front end of this thing a minute ago. That was kind of a pain. I had it so slick with all that soap. You might need an extra set of hands. Yeah. So enlist your better half. So just kind of get them started where you can get your bushings pushed on. And then now I'm going to have to jack the front end up. Go ahead and get this set before you put your, before you put your springs in because it's good. Well, I guess you could tighten it any other way, but if you're going to use an impact, this thing gets a, will be at such an angle, you won't be able to get a socket on it. Put any C's on this too before I get it started. I'll tighten that up here in a second. I just want to get this one tightened. Hi guys. Once you get this tight down to get it pulled down good and tight, there's a there's a hole there and so you can run your your cotter key in. So well yeah, like mine. That's how I like to place mine. Okay guys, so we're at the spring purchase on the front end. And once again, indices. I just try to avoid issues. All right, so we got our your bottom plate and then your top spring retainer. I'm just going to kind of get them started. And I should be able to take my spring and roll it in. And then I'll have to possibly get an extension and run it down and tighten it up. So... 
I'll do this without beating everything up. At the top of your spring, if you look up here, it's you need to have your spring indexed so it will fall in line. And right now that's, that's pretty doggone close. So what I'm gonna do is get both of these set up the same way. I'll jack it up in place. And then I think I'm just gonna put a ratchet in there and tighten that retainer down. Trying to keep from beating my stuff up. So what I'm going to do here guys is I'm going to get Joni to operate the jack. I'm going to hold the springs and then we'll get the springs kind of fed into the frame here. Are you ready? Yeah, come on. Sorry it's shaky. I'll let the camera stand in the house. You're doing good. Of course, most of these I freehand anyway. <laughs> Usually the only time the camera stand is used is whenever he's out here by himself. I think you're doing wonderful. Yeah, it gets kind of shaky. All right. Get your spring lined up like you want it. Get your bolts tightened. Let Johnny show you right here. And the spring mimics the impression that's in the top of it. And then we'll get our other retainer here in just a second. There's a retainer that goes right here. But let me get this other side tightened up. Our bolt on our hoop that kind of located our hoop to our shock uh, mount here our spring mount. We got to remove it. And then what you have is this spring retainer feeds in and then bolts down through the center. I'll show you here in a second. Guys, I have to say this is kind of a dance between the the top bolt and the and this bolt here getting them to line up and thread in and not strip there we go it's like if you try to pull it up too tight this hole is not in the right spot so you want it all kind of pulling together so i think we've got it now Plenty of indices on this video. Guys, these are the Tom's Bronco shocks. Came with their two and a half inch kit. Here's your part number. So, 
and this takes four they're all the same so here's the bushings and it's kind of the same thing just a little just a little bit of lube helps them go in there and they won't squeak make a whole bunch of racket Hey guys, these brackets are for the dual shock mount. What you'll do is you'll drill out the rivets on your stock mount here. You drill them out, and then uh, once you get it tightened down, then we'll drill this third hole. I won't do this right now. You guys can do that yourselves. I'm, you know, once I get this pulled down, I'll come drill a pilot hole and then drill it out so we can bolt that down. And here's a word of warning this right here this steel is hard so make sure you got some good bits all right so let's get these shocks put on and get this project wrapped up for today it's getting a little dark all right did we show the part number on the shocks yes yeah. okay just want to make sure I showed you guys part number. Get that. Oops. Shot number two. Okay guys, on the boots, they just send these, this little wire tie. Get it cinched down once you get your shock in place. Kind of set them a little bit different you know lower one just a little bit so the so they'll set inside each other all right guys there it is well guys i appreciate you hanging out with me today uh, we got a lot done i'm going to finish the other side uh Johnny's going to head in the house uh, you guys have seen me do this side i'll get that side finished and we'll be I think we'll be doing brakes next. We'll go ahead and do the rear brakes, get the front brakes and steering, get all that stuff installed. But uh, appreciate you guys always coming along with me on this on this journey, <laughs> and uh, hopefully you gain a little tidbit here and there. So uh, you guys have a great day. Uh, hope you stay warm, and we'll see you soon. Bye.